Right, we're going to walk down the road that the witnesses um, took now. The same route that they took on the night of the uh, alleged abduction. And you probably see the road behind me. This is the actual route, which is a swing 360 degrees. There, there's the road going down. I'm driving, and again, probably making you very dizzy. walking down now down towards where the actual site was now straight away within let's say 50 meters of the substation on the opposite side of the road in a, a sort of westerly direction and I'm going to have a closer look at this I'm going to take it off myself so I can go film this properly in a second but I just want to show you if we walk down the road we've got something really interesting in that field uh, I'm going to go up to it in a minute I'm going to walk down the field and I'm going to turn around again so I'm actually facing away from it and you will see any minute now the line of houses from the original just over my shoulder there from the original report okay okay um i found this this i bentham case again i found this just adjacent in the western side of the road leading down to the row of houses you can see this looks like some sort of major cairn um, I'm walking up to it just to inspect it better and there almost looks like a standing stone on top of it which again the lane is called Tatters Thorn Lane which the thorn part usually does depict some kind of um, standing stone um, a thorn was known as a you know because of the pointed structure of the stone I'm just going to walk around here because this is unusual. Some strange sort of stones on the floor here as well. Um, I'm not sure if this is a cairn or whether it's it's definitely a ring of stones around the bottom of it. Is it just rubble that's been dumped here? I mean, there is a, an old building here that's been broken down. It could be just a pile of stones from that. Um, it's difficult to tell really. Uh, just gonna have a look because there is a point here on the floor that actually shows that this this is sort of to do with the Lancaster electricity supply. So again, a strange structure only hundreds of yards away from the actual encounter spot. Derelict place here. And then there you can see the row of houses. I'm trying to zoom in on them. Yeah, we'll zoom on them. They're the houses that you see in the actual report. Yeah, where the uh, family, the um, the family that, that were abducted, actually stated that they saw them silhouetted on the landscape just before the abduction. So that is interesting. Let's go have a look at this old place down here. I mean, what I'm looking for in particular is definite trace of an ancient site. Um, that could be. That could be it. What we're going to look at here is uh, this old building that we found here. It's sort of strange. There we go. You can probably see all that in there. There's nothing much to be seen, to be honest with you, in there. Looks like some sort of old cattle shed or that type of thing. It's obviously derelict now. I'm going to take a walk over to the uh, walling over there. This looks like an old well here, actually. It's been placed over an old well, so the place is pretty ancient. It feels as if it is. I'm getting that impression as I walk around. Uh, let's walk over towards where the mouses are. Over here. Look at this. Over to my west there. Um, we do have uh, a line of trees that I do believe is the stream there. I find that place fascinating. I've been to it once before and it's got a lot of um, fairy elemental feelings to it. I have to investigate that properly. That could be actually where the vortex of the portal is because look up there I mean, it's a wonderful area you've got um, the different uh, three peaks of the Lake District 
over the tops of there, you know, Ingleton and Ingleborough, Wernside, they're all in that direction. But if we come down here, like, I've got some sheep. Hello, what are you up to? Got some nice sheep there, they're just having a graze and wondering what the heck I'm doing. Just having a quick look around. There is a caravan site over in the corner there now. I don't know if it was there when the encounter took place. Um, and the object itself apparently was seen heading out towards Cliverow, which it would be over in that direction, over to the south. Again, this is what intrigues me mostly, is this, I do believe it's, it's a cairn, I do, I do believe that the pile of stones on top of that. Definitely. Isn't it? Right, we're going to walk back down towards the cairn now. Um, all the way back down towards where I'm walking now towards where the houses are that were in the case feelings um, just got a car coming I better just step off the road okay feelings um, very special area definitely going to have to come back here and do some more work I want to go into the woods I've been led to go into those woods over there all the time you know what I mean sitting there that's where I feel that we may get some definite evidence. Um, I'm not sure, we'll have to find out. Maybe anybody watching this one might be who did the original investigation. Um, did the encounter take place after the row of trees in this road? Because it bears off on a dot like bend to the left. And then just ahead of that, as you can see over in the distance there, if I move out of the way. There is a farmhouse that would have passed again. So in between that farmhouse and this row of houses, if so, on that length of road there, um, the only thing that really looks interesting is this row of trees round the bed. Now people who know about myth and folklore, let me get back onto the side of the road, correct? It's busy for a small road like this. Um, we know that on these dog leg beds, there are places where I suppose we stories of black dogs and uh, that type of thing. You know, and that's probably the phenomena as well in dimensionally uh, senses would be coming through. So I'm a feeling that, that you know they may notice the houses and that's the trigger point. But then there's the uh, come down here, you know, they get to the point here. Now that's interesting, something very ancient about this woodland. I'm gonna have a quick look in a minute. 